Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to update this show page in order to add the score and the voting buttons. I'll be the first to tell you I am not a designer, I am a developer, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to make this look as pretty as it possibly could. I'm just going to slap the buttons down here. I'm just going to have a little score show up and then I'm going to have an upvote button and a downvote button on either side. So let's go ahead and do that. Over here in Gourmet IDE, let's open up comics underscore show and then we're going to scroll down to the part with the button. Now as of right now I've got this comment header that I added way 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 back when I thought I wanted to have a header. I'm just going to get rid of that because most people are smart enough to know what comments are. So this can go bye bye. And then I'm going to add, um, the idea is to add the buttons right over here after this. So in order to do that we're going to have to add a bootstrap row class equals row and inside of there we're going to put this a tag which is the button let's fix our indentation and this isn't going to work quite yet we're going to have to add a little bit to it but we'll fix that in a minute and then we're also going to add another div that's going to contain the button and the score so div and inside of here we're going to have a button I'm going to put all this on one line, duplicate that, and then I'm just going to have a span. So this is going to be the score, and for now I'm just going to put 10 inside of the span, and then we're going to actually set this dynamically later, but we'll just want to kind of look at it and see what it looks like for now. Alright, so let's save and refresh, and this is going to look horrible for now, but we're going to fix it. Okay, why is it broken? Oh, it's because I'm not running. Gorm is running slow today. Every once in a while they have these days where things start to run slow. But generally speaking, they're really good. So we have this. This is ugly ascent. These are technically buttons. And we've got this 10. This is smashed up together. This is not does not look good. So let's make it look a little bit better. First, for the buttons, I'm going to add plus and minus there. Then, as of right now, We've got this row set, and these two are just basically being smashed up next to each other because we haven't set their column or anything like that. So inside of this A, we're going to add a class and just set it to column 3. And the same thing for this div, we're just going to add a class, set this to column 2, just to add a little bit of spacing. So let's see what this looks like. There, they're spaced out a little bit better. I like that more already. Now these buttons are ugly as sin. We're going to use the bootstrap buttons. But the idea is that we want them to be to give some sort of an indication whether you have voted or not. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to use the bootstrap outline buttons. If you have not voted, they're going to be outlined, and if you have voted, they're going to be filled in. So the green the so the upvote is going to be green, the downvote is going to be red. When you have not voted, the outline is going to be green, the inside is going to be empty. When you have voted, the whole thing is going to be green just like this add comment button. So by default, class going to equal btn because you have to do that for bootstrap buttons, and then btn outline success. And I just got this from the bootstrap documentation. And we also want it to be um, btn large, and then let's add some margin to the top to kind of scooch it down. And we want to basically do the same thing down here, except instead of success, we want it to be danger. So let's save that, look at it, see what it looks like. All right, that's good. And then we want to add some IDs. This is going to be the, we'll call this one upvotes DTN. We'll call this one downvotes BTN. And same thing with the span, we're going to add an ID of, let's call it score. And we also want to spread it out, because right now these buttons are smashed up against it. So let's class margin X of 2, maybe. Let's try that. Let's space that a little bit, that's fine. Um, you could spend half an hour getting this centered, this number centered vertically. I'm not going to worry about it, but you could definitely do that if you wanted to make it look better. So you can see these buttons are outlined, indicating that we have not yet voted, but after we click on them, what we want to do is to have them filled in like it shows here. That's kind of the idea behind all this. 
And that is it for this video. What we did is basically just add this stuff right here. We added an upvote button, a downvote button, and the score. We added bootstrap classes to both of these buttons. And we also added a row div around the already existent add comment button to kind of space things out a little bit better. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.